You're probably thinking of replacing your door's armrest cover. My door armrest was starting to bubble. This was most likely done by my dog. From reading online forums, it seems like many of you have the same issue. Let me show you how I fixed this issue for around $50. So first you need these items. The replacement cover. The link is underneath. Get the right color for your car. I tried both real leather and synthetic leather for my center armrest. The synthetic leather felt and looked a lot better. And fabric adhesive spray. This is to make the leather cover stick to the armrest. Once again, link is on the bottom or you can find one of these at Home Depot or Amazon. Number 3. Tools. All you need is a plus and minus screwdriver. You need many clips. I bought around 30 of them. They were 37 cents at Home Depot. Last one's optional, but if you want to change the interior light to something brighter, you can buy a 194 bulb. Okay, step one, remove the door panel. This is easier than you might think. Take off three panels, which will reveal screws. Remove the three screws and you'll need to pull around the edges with a little force. Once you can reach inside, you'll need to remove two cables on top. Then there are three screws inside holding the door handle. And just like that, your entire door panel will come off. You should have six screws and two plastic pieces removed at this point. Okay, step two, remove the armrest from the door panel. You will need to remove about 20 screws to get the handle and the armrest off. It's optional but it's very handy to have a power drill. You will also need to unplug the green cable used for the window switch. At the end I had 21 screws removed. Right now will be a good time to swap out the interior lights too. Here's my new bright white LED bulbs. Just pull out the old one and plug in the new one. That is the dog that's responsible for this issue. Alright, moving along. Step 3. Remove the handle and the window switch. This is what you should have removed at the end of step 3. Step 4. Remove the original cover. Rip the rubbery material off the armrest. I recommend keeping the fabric padding to use with your new cover. There's a part on the armrest that has stitches. It's a pain in the butt to remove these stitches and I think it's okay to just keep these on. You won't be able to feel the stitches once you put the replacement on top. Step 5. Practice placing the cover on. Get to know how the cover fits. Make sure you have enough so it wraps around the edges. Once you spray the adhesive, it will be harder to experiment and adjust. To make it easier and so it won't move, I clamped one side down. Step 6. Spray the adhesive and place the leather cover. While one side is clamped down, I spray the other. Once you wrap the leather around the plastic, clamp it so you don't have to hold it down until it dries. Once one side dries, you can repeat this step for the rest. Make sure you pull the leather around so it has a tighter finish. Push out any bubbles. Clamp down the rest and let it sit until it dries. The result looks pretty good but I still need to do the window switch part. This is a reminder to do this outside. Now that we're done, we'll just let it sit and dry. Now we just have to reverse the steps and put everything back together.
I'd appreciate it if you could hit thumbs up and thank you for watching.